Hi and welcome everybody. I'm Margaret Ann Lembo and today is the day that we'll be talking about yellow gemstones. It's part of a series, a rainbow of crystals and gemstones. And I'll be sharing not only about crystals, but a little bit about aromatherapy too, because they match very well together. So I'm glad you're joining because this is a great way for you to feel more joy and happiness. All these slides have yellow on them and yellow, the color all by itself is all about joy and happiness and self-confidence. So the, the solar plexus chakra is the foundation for a lot of the information that has to do with the gemstones that we'll be talking about. The solar plexus is the place of self-confidence, of integration, digestion. You know, we have a lot of organs in our body that are associated with actually processing the information that we receive. This is a big processing center in our consciousness is the solar plexus chakra. And so this is just a little mini excerpt that I pulled out of the Chakra Awakening book, my book, the first book that I wrote. So let's go right into um, stones, because that's what I promised you. So when I think of the solar plexus chakra or the color yellow, the first stone that always jumps into my mind is citrine. And here you see two different grades of citrine on the right-hand side of the screen. One is a high quality citrine, and then the other one is still a very nice quality. It's just a deeper yellow or almost an orangey yellow color. So this little left side of the screen is the uh, an excerpt from my little book that's called Color Your Life with Crystals, your first guide to crystals, color, and how and positive thought, or actually chakras it is. And so I wrote this for young readers, but adults love it very much. Now notice a lot of the information that I just showed you on the prior page is also on this page as well, which has to do with the, the key phrase, the key information. Notice yellow energy. Yellow energy is about self-confidence. Yellow energy is about mental clarity, happiness, and being all that you can be, living to your fullest potential. So um, notice in the little block at the bottom of the left side, right above where it says margaretannlembo.com, I want to read that out loud. Imagine you have the sun shining brightly from your solar plexus. Great exercise to do. Imagine you have the sun shining brightly from your solar plexus. In the rays of light that stream forth from your yellow energy center, feel the warmth, vibrating from you like a powerful force. This is your this is your place of personal power, the solar plexus and using the color yellow. Also it's about a lot of other things which we're going to get into on the various slides ahead. But notice in this uh, on the right side you see it's about happiness, self-confidence, joy, the ability to set boundaries, which is often uncomfortable for most people myself included. Some days I'm better at it than others. We're, we all have our days, right? And integration. This is about integrating everything, processing everything that's going on. So that also has to do with taking the time to be still, be silent, and to let yourself process what needs, what everything that's happened. This also relates to digestion as well. So now jumping right into aromatherapy, just to bring this into your awareness, whether you're eating an orange or a grapefruit or bergamot or some a lemon, I don't really eat bergamot to be honest with you, <laughs> or, or adding lime to your drink. These are all, including oranges, I would still include orange in this. Um, these, the citrus family are really great allies for helping to lift you out of depression if you're feeling down in the dumps. It's really great for helping you to uh, be bright and cheery, but also clear, mentally clear. Like let's say you really wanted to be able to really focus on a job at hand. Lemon is a really great one to, to do that. And lime is excellent for helping to integrate information and ideas. Grapefruit raises your vibration, brings your energy up. 
almost all the, um, some of you know, I'm an aromatherapist and, and basically the, you also know that I make a lot of sprays. Let me do this. See all those sprays up there behind me. There's a lot of them. I think I have about 65 of them. Um, all, all the archangels have some type of citrus in it. That's what kept coming to me. It has to have citrus and a lot of them have grapefruit because this is about higher consciousness, awakening consciousness. Now notice I have a little asterisk with the word phototoxic on the right hand side. These are essential oils that I would recommend are for inhalation for if you apply them, just know that it's phototoxic, which means that you will get a burn. If you go out in the sun, it will actually darken your skin and even burn your skin once the sunlight hits wherever you put that uh, essential oil. So I personally like to use um, most essential oils uh, inhalation, unless I'm dealing with some health thing that I might change that. Okay, so let's get into some of these beautiful yellow stones. So amber, so amber can fall into the category of the navel chakra as well. But I like it at the solar plexus because it is about boundaries. In fact, the key phrase that I have in my book, The Essential Guide to Crystals, Minerals, and Stones, is just the word boundaries. It's kind of like that energy of where you have uh, like the bedroom. I'm doing this because I'm thinking of like, say you have a bedroom with uh, a sibling when you're little and you draw the line down the middle of the bedroom. It's like, that's your side. This is my side. Don't come over there. <laughs> Don't come over this line. Well, that's what amber is like. And, and this is more in a, in a softer way, though. It's more in a, this is my space and that's your space. So it's very good for helping you to establish what is acceptable behavior in your presence and what is not acceptable behavior. It's also very cleansing energy because amber is petrified pine resin. Yep, tree sap. Yes, it is. So here are the affirmations. And this one, I wanted to use affirmations. So again, focus on your heart, focus on connecting with this gemstone and these affirmations. I have the courage to set boundaries with love and grace. I am protected. Experiences from the past empower me. So I wrote that affirmation because so often when we've had people stepping over boundaries, they are potentially somewhat, maybe I would consider abusive on some level, verbally, mentally, physically, spiritually, somehow, some way. And so experiences from the past, instead of it taking you down, let these experiences from the past empower you. You learned from that experience and you can move forward. And working with Amber can help you stay focused on that intention. I'm connected with powerful ancient wisdom it's petrified pine resin. It's like a fossil. I know how to make positive changes. So this is about accepting your ability to change things in your life. It's safe for me to be powerful in loving ways. That's one of my favorite affirmations. It's safe for me to be powerful in loving ways. Okay, Amber. And next on the hip parade is tiger's eye. So tiger's eye is a favorite of a lot of people. Tiger's eye is a gemstone that for many, many centuries has been considered protection from the evil eye. So let me, let me explain to you my version of what does that mean, evil eye. The evil eye is simply where somebody observes you and perhaps looks at you, I looks at you, and they think, Hmm, I want what they have. Why can't I have that? Why can't I do that? And there's jealousy involved. So it doesn't actually even have to be uh, like a more dramatic spell or things of that nature. I don't deal with spells that's not within my, you know, consciousness. But what I will say is if there is an issue where you're jealous or someone else is jealous of you, whether they're overt or not, you have the ability to utilize this gemstone as your ally to deflect away that vibration. So it helps you to release feelings of je jealousy. These are the bullet points right here on the screen, whether it's yours or someone else's feelings of jealousy. 
It helps you with mental clarity, all Yellowstones do. It helps you remain grounded and focused on your personal goals. So this is very good for financial success and personal development and help you to raise your self-confidence and brighten your outlook, opening your mind to unlimited possibilities. Now, when you take a look at this stone in person and you kind of move it in your hands, you can see where it has a chatoyancy. It has a shimmer to it. And so that's the reflective nature to reflect or deflect certain energies. So here's a little affirmation. I have constant protection surrounding me, which deflects anything that is not for my highest good. So I have a little uh, bracelet there next to that affirmation because this is a reminder to you that you don't have to just carry the rock or have the rock with you nearby. You can do that. But it's also nice to wear gemstone jewelry. So whether it's a bracelet or a necklace or a pair of earrings, even a, a you know, like a, a whole mala bead brace necklace would be pretty too. So you have options to how to use the gemstones. Now I wanted to do some stone combinations for financial success. And you're like, Margaret, not all these stones are yellow. Why are you putting yellow other colors here? Well, I like to bring to awareness that using complementary vibrations helps to bring balance. And so at the solar plexus, which is how I, you know, started this was working with your solar plexus, which is above your belly button, below your breasts. That's your solar plexus area all the way around. These are bands of energy. So there's a lot of digestive organs there and at the digestive organs, um, help you digest not only food, but believe it or not, digest life, your life situations. So the pyrite, I find that pyrite can be used at any chakra. Oh, I meant to mention with the tiger's eye, tiger's eye, I feel can be used at the root chakra, the brown energy, at the navel chakra, the more orangey yellow color of it, or at the solar plexus chakra. And then again, you can use it any way you want because it's you're matching your intention to go with the gemstone so that every time you look at the stone, every time you think about the stone, hold it, it's bringing to mind your reason for carrying it and using it. Okay, back to pyrite. So pyrite is a great stone that is good for at the, at the root chakra as well. Also very nice at the solar plexus because of the shimmer and also this is a place where we hold our consciousness that adds vibration to financial success so for example citrine and green aventurine which green aventurine is on the bottom of right side of the screen this is also for stone identification to familiarize for those are that are not as familiar so citrine and a green aventurine is a great stone combination known as the merchant stones that you can utilize and keep at your cash register or near where you have your, your checking account. Well, do people even use checks anymore? <laughs> I do everything online, so I don't know. Sometimes I write checks. I still write checks. Do you? Anyway, um, but wherever you consider your financial spot is. So you can even use it in, in a feng shui way if you know feng shui you can place your financial success stones in that gua on your desk or in that gua in your home. If you want to know about guas, that's a whole nother conversation. Then emerald, oh, that's very well known as a gemstone for success. Now, this is also something I would consider using a green stones at the solar plexus chakra. Now we're going to do a green talk about green stones and two weeks from now uh, next week is pink stones and then the week after that are green stones and so I won't go much more into those but I do want to I did want to bring up peridot because peridot is a great stone which is on the bottom left hand side of your screen peridot is a really helpful for um, dealing with jealousy again and insecurities and having that want, needing some extra help with that. And so peridot is a good one to use also 
heal the healer. That's for healing yourself if you are someone who is very much a healer for others or facilitates healing processes. Then right smack dab in the middle is ametrine, bottom middle. <clears throat> Notice that that's amethyst and citrine in the same stone, which is naturally occurring, very common because amethyst, citrine, clear quartz, um, smoky quartz, there's something else I'm not thinking of, all grow together. That's quartz. So quartz grows in varying shades depending on the molecular structure and the heat elements that's in the earth when they're growing. So ametrine is good for transforming and transmuting challenging situations with a lot of self-confidence. All right, so that's my story, Morning Glory. Let's go to the next slide. So here we have leopard skin jasper. Now I wanted to put include leopard skin jasper, even though that's not the predominant color. Notice that there is yellow included within that, uh, some of those stones. It depends on the stone you get because leopard skin jasper in look can change from one part of the world to another, but it's still leopard skin based on the, uh, the spots that are there. So with leopard skin jasper, you can utilize this to be flexible, to help you be flexible, to stay a very earth-centered or grounded in your spiritual pursuits and to use for self-observation. Note the words, stalk yourself. So, like, Margaret, you want me to stalk? What? Stalk yourself. That means observing yourself in a way that is without judgment, but noticing, hmm, what was that knee-jerk reaction about? Or, wow, now that I really contemplate what just occurred, I don't know how I feel about that, and I think I want to maybe journal about it a little bit more. This is also through self-observation or what I say, quote unquote, stalking yourself, yourself, not other people. Um, it also can help you understand your belief systems. We have belief systems installed in our consciousness from a pretty young age, from usually ages zero to 10 years old. And then more installed, and I use the word installed for a reason, I'll tell you in a second, more are installed as our life progresses, belief systems that we have, that we live our life based on those belief systems. So I look at it as installing a program on a computer. You install the program and then that program runs. And then sometimes it's running underneath everything else. Well, similarly in our consciousness, we have belief systems like I touch the I touch the stove, I always get burnt. Maybe not. Once you learn how the stove works, you don't always get burnt. So you can change that belief system. Now that's an oversimplified example, but it would take much longer of a little mini free workshop to go into with to go much deeper into that. So this is a good stone with the leopard skin jasper to help you uh uncover which beliefs you want to keep and which ones you want to let go of so that you can release emotional patterns that are no longer for your highest good so you can figure out how you want to change your spots pun intended because it's leopard skin <laughs> now take notice that i have more than one jasper here uh yellow jasper which could be mukite in this particular picture, this yellow jasper, I'm pretty sure is a mukite yellow jasper, which means that it is from Australia. It's just from the area of the world where it grows. And this is a stone that is yellow, but it's not clear. It's very dense. It's opaque, if you will. And so this one is um, something that I think is a little bit stronger for helping with inner strength and is also very good for deflecting jealousy. Now I have mental clarity here because anything yellow was good for mental clarity, but I might go towards a little bit more towards the citrine for yellow for uh, in that yellow stone for clarity or coming up the optical calcite that I'll be showing you. So you can use it for integration, for for helping with digesting life. So this I'm kind of repeating myself because the yellow stone is a yellow stone, right? Overall, not exactly. And then this one, I like to recommend that you use it when you are in quiet contemplation. Not talking about meditation, where you are thinking, you are contemplating, you're sorting things out. 
All right, and then Bumblebee Jasper. Now, Bumblebee Jasper is a very attractive stone, and I uh, like to utilize and look at Bumblebee Jasper when I take pen to paper. Now, notice I said pen to paper. Ah, are we taking pen to paper too often? Not that often. We're not that often picking up a pen and writing. More often than not, we may be typing in our uh, our mobile devices are right onto our computers. But in this case, Bumblebee Jasper, for me, for some reason, makes me want to recommend that when you are sorting through emotions or when you want to make a list, I think that taking a pen to paper or you can take a pen to an iPad, <laughs> that, that exists, but the motion of moving your hands and writing it down a different way does help to make things happen. There, There is a, a book um, that has been out for a long time. I think it's still in print. It's called Write It Down, Make It Happen. And I love that title because it really kind of sums it up. If you write it down, it does make it happen. And I'm very much about writing things down. So even if you decide, oh, Margaret, I'm not going to write it down with a pen to paper, that's okay, but still write it down somehow because that's really going to help you achieve your goals and help you be more productive. It really helps you make things happen. Okay, now this is, as promised, a picture of optical calcite, and I'm pretty sure we only have one of those left in the store at this point. So I'm, I'm talking to you from my store, the Crystal Garden. This August will be 33 years old. Wow. And um, uh, the reason I bring that up is because uh, right after this, sh this little mini workshop, we're going to go right into a shop the crystal garden from home facebook live event on the crystal garden page on facebook so i invite you to join us and that one piece of optical calcite yellow optical calcite that's left is on the show tonight nobody bought that yet right kate not yet all right so the thing about optical calcite it, it is helpful for changing perspective all calcites i think are great for change for changes in general and so changing perspective because of the clarity aspect of optical calcite is also helpful for um, having new realizations or looking things in, at things from a different angle or different ways, perhaps even from a higher perspective. You can also utilize this gemstone for optimism, which is good for any yellow gemstone, for clarity for sure, because that's the whole point of the optical nature of the gemstone and also to help you to recognize an opportunity when it's near you and to be there. So this is a little um, statement that I like to put with optical calcite. It's at the bottom of the screen if you want to read it too. Live up to your dreams, desires, and contracts and radiate your excellence. Live up to your dreams, desires, and contracts and radiate your excellence. So you're like, what contracts? Did I sign a contract somewhere? <laughs> well, I look at our agreement before we came onto the planet as a contract, our sole purpose. So this can help you with uncovering and utilizing your, your skills to fulfill your contract or soul agreements. Alrighty, so a few more. So let me show you this septarian. So the ones on the left-hand side, those are going to be on the show tonight. So unusual. This is the first time I've seen septarian with that beautiful druzy, brown druzy. It almost like you almost want to pet it. It's not soft, but you, to me it reminds me of like a little bear or something. I don't know. So cal this is calcite, the yellow part of this. So if you look at the heart, this is how you'll typically see uh, septarian where the calcite is cemented, mineral-rich mud that form during dehydration, and sometimes there's some pyrite in there. So I thought that was just a, a cool um, photo of that particular uh, beautiful heart. And I think we have maybe a few hearts, yes, on the show tonight too. Imperial Topaz, great for self-confidence and courage. Before I started this event, the official start of the event, I had pulled a card, which is topaz, golden topaz. 
And I'm going to read, this was very convenient for that to be the stone tonight. It's a match, it's from my animal totems and the gemstone, uh, animal allies and gemstone guardians cards, also from my book, Animal Totems in the Gemstone Kingdom. And the, the uh, golden topaz side of the card says, are you peaceful and prosperous? Are you having success with your business? Harmony abounds. Now it is time to relax into your good fortune. Pay attention. Good opportunities are available to you. You are incredibly lucky. So that that's the vibe of Imperial Topaz. I like the name of it. It's Imperial. I love it. All right. So now I wanted to uh, continue to point out complementary vibrations in the place of our solar plexus or the vibration of yellow is all about joy and happiness and sometimes we're just not feeling it we're just not joyful and we're not happy and uh maybe we are for a minute and then we're right back down on the dumps well i highly recommend lapidolite as a complementary vibration as well as certain complementary essential oils and blends to work with to help raise your your awareness, raise your um, happiness level. So lapidolite is made from lithium mica, and uh, lithium is often used for balancing bipolar situations. Do not drink the rock, do not eat the rock, just hold the rock <laughs> or look at it. And so this is from my deck, the Angels and Gemstone Guardians cards, and this is the lapidolite card. And so this I thought was appropriate because the solar plexus is about joy and happiness, but this is also where we hold depression or sadness, really, you know, deep despair even. And so working with lapidolite, the card, as it says, is have you been feeling depressed? Do you have mood swings? And the reason I brought this up is because we're still coming out of this pandemic and, you know, it's not quite, quite fully over yet. So this, uh, a lot of people have had challenges on many levels, but also mentally and emotionally. And this is a great stone as a companion to help you through that and raise you up. But whether it's a pandemic or not, this is a good stone for that whenever we're feeling a bit down in the dumps. So it's time to restore well-being. Yay, it's time to restore well-being. A joyful outlook on life can be yours. So take the necessary steps to shift your focus from what that which troubles you to that which brings you joy. And that is always a great suggestion. Happy, sad, or in between, always focus as much as you possibly can on gratitude. What brings you joy? What brings you happiness? And at any time that you get go down a rabbit hole, I'd like to highly recommend that you shift your vibration over to things that make you happy. So if you like to go to the beach, look at the beach, go to the, go to the beach. If you like to um, watch silly sitcoms on TV, do that, do what brings you happiness. And I'm bringing, saying very mundane things, but there's other things you can do that, you know, make you happy. So as you can see here, I've also included bliss mist as a suggestion for the uh, olfactory nerve to the limbic system of your brain to assist you in upliftment as lemon, which I mentioned earlier uh, when we were talking about the essential oils in the beginning. So that's, that's everything for tonight. I want to thank you so much for attending. Um, you're invited, if you want, to join me next week. Uh, next week, we're going to work with the Pink Rocks. So it's going to be a very rosy posy and uh, lots of love, vibration. Uh, if you want to stay and laugh with us, we have so much fun. Everybody is very welcoming on the Facebook shop, the Crystal Garden from home. Even if you don't want to buy anything and you want to look at pretty things and hear uplifting ideas and, and uh, feel like part of a, a community online, from wherever you are, all over the world, everybody comes and we have so much fun. So thank you so much for attending. We are going to switch over now to the Crystal Garden Shop, the Crystal Garden from Home event.
Thank you so much for watching. Much love and many blessings.